minutes left of our journey and we are going to a different cycle route from last time. We're going to Hazard Station to do the Monsell Trail. Right, so we're all pulled up, got the bikes off the car. Come around and show you them. Um, this is Hazard Station. Um, we have done this route before, but we've never filmed it. Sweets. Got some powered by some strawberry laces and cola laces this morning. Oh my god, this is sour. Oh, I've got tingles. <laughs> we've got tingles here. Um, that's Hazard Station. So this is the Monsell Trail. It's about eight nine miles to the end um, we're a couple of miles off bakewell um, which we're going to ride to on the way back but yeah we're going to get uh, going to get started and we'll update you on route so this is just just starting off on the trail monsell trail sign just oh, there Dale. bakewell to the left <laughs> wydale to the right you got Asop Station entrance that you come out the car park and you've got the lovely flat trail there. So let's get going. Who's ready for a ride? So yeah, this is the first bit of the Monsell Trail. It's a really, really nice uh, ride. Right, so it's tunnel time. This is the first tunnel of many on the route. Yeah, this tunnel's a great one. And this is Headstone Tunnel. There's obviously some works going on in here. So this is months or Dale. Absolutely stunning. This is only two and a half mile from where we started at Hazup Station. But as you can see, it's a beautiful flat track. like flat ground and then I just fell over um right and I've actually I've cut my knee and I've, my arm is bleeding badly <laughs> yeah yeah what did you fall off over nothing <laughs> absolutely nothing just fell off 
So yeah, I've just there stopped for lunch. Today on the menu we have wraps, fruit, more fruit, some treats in the bag there, which is donuts. Oh yeah. Can you say? Can you see the name of it? Sheeto Tunnel. That's how you pronounce it. And you can feed it. Oh, so this tunnel splits then. This tunnel splits into two tunnels. <laughs> Cheers, pal. Tunnel number five. What have we just done? We have finished the monster trap, but we've not. We need to touch the sign. We need to touch the sign. There so is. This is you right. guys are coming with us. You seem to have some sort of bike in the way. That was animals. That was the animals. And that is the end of the monster trail. There we go. We have finished the monster trail. And I finished it with a bad arm. So look at your arm. Selfie stick is definitely what I mean. Yeah, it's good fun. Yeah. Oh, we've got pulley arm and bad leg. Oh, bad leg as well. Some of the views at the end. You can see down into the valley there. So yeah, I would say this is uh, definitely easier for kids than the uh, Tissington trial that we did. Yeah, it's so, uh, much more a little one I'll vouch for you there. What did you say on about? It's much more easier. From where we started. So we started at Hassop Station. A uh, good car park there. Five pounds to park your car all day or there's less for less hours. Uh, doesn't take cards so well worth bringing some Coins with you, it doesn't take notes. Uh, it's eight miles, so I'll make it to the uh, to the end of the trail from there. We're gonna carry on into Bakewell on the way back. But uh, but yeah, coming up to the bridge where they do the abseiling from. Uh, once again, under normal circumstances, you normally ride past this and see people uh, abseiling, which is pretty cool. But obviously, uh, we'll stop to that with all the Covid stuff going on. But, uh, yeah, just give you a quick perspective of how high it is. What do you think to the ride, Annabelle? A little review from you. Good. I think it's very good. What would you compare it to um, the Tissington? Okay, well, the same amount of goodness, that's a word. But the other one was a little bit trickier. Yeah, a bit more uphill, wasn't it? If you can catch down the valley there. And then you've got a lap there, which seems to be another railway line that I'm running alongside it. So, another tunnel that we're in now. So, this is off. Oh, that was cold, that tunnel. And then we're straight in for a little bit of warm and then straight back into another one. Unbelievable to explain the difference in the temperature from when you get in them tunnels. Hopefully get a nice shot of the view now.
Cresbrook Tunnel. Poor children. <laughs> If you caught that by somebody just uh, going, children, I hate children, pretending to be the, uh, the monster in the tunnel. Light hearted fun. You're going to ride through the hut? <laughs> and, uh, although it's traffic free, there's a special uh, bit of traffic coming down. Not bad. Doing some bridge bridge work by the look of it. So uh, yeah, because they're doing the bridge work, so we've got to go onto the bridge. Guys and girls and people and aliens and whoever, we're just coming back to uh, Hazup Station where it all began a few hours ago. So uh, we've come back in about an hour, but it took about two hours to get there. So yeah, all good, all good. Come around and show you. All closed off at the moment due to COVID-19, but really see that. You right now? Lovely, uh, lovely calf in there, I must say, from where we've been before. And this would be your exit back to uh, the car park at the station. But we're going to carry on down this path and head to uh, Bakewell. Get some uh, ice creams and some. To the end of the Monsel Trail. Show ya. So we to there. We started there, but we are now there. And we're in Bakewell. So we've put the bikes up, and we're going to uh, do this bit on foot. So uh, we've done 16 miles to get to Bakewell. I'll be here couple back be around about 18 today but uh yeah update arm update let's have a look at the arm oh yes that needs a good plaster on it a leg update legs probably the better one okay so uh, just uh coming into bakewell town centre famous for the bakewell tart uh, we are currently having a bit of a Let's chuck some water over uh, each of our moments. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a bit of uh, Annabelle running off from Lily. So, ice cream stop in Bakewell. Which one did you go for, Annie Mac? Um, a ruby um, magnet thing. Mm, looks very nice. Lil, let's have a look. And me, just a can of Diet Coke with no calories because I'm trying to lose weight. <laughs> squish, squish. Now, do you want this last little bit to see oh, what it's like? Give me a little. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. It's raspberry white chocolate. We're sitting with our feet dangling in the river. Bridge in Bakewell. It's pretty cool. There's no idea where the ours is now. <laughs> what do you put it on there? What God knows. So we opted to uh, leave the bikes at Bakewell Station at the top of the hill and then walk down. Pretty steep hill back up, so I'm glad we probably did. But what do you think to the hill back up, girls? You look like you've had enough now, yeah. Yeah, there. Uh, we've got to get all the way to the top of there. The hill back up to the Monsal Trail. Um, 
this is what you'll see when you get to the Bakewell station if you head out head out through the few industrial units and then uh, yeah you'll uh, you'll see uh, see the road that leads you down to Bakewell well worth it if you come and do it to uh, walk into Bakewell it's a lovely uh, lovely town hopefully our box is still here we'll do the monster trail from this route as well there's the charges it is coin only and our bikes are still here so happy day right that's the monsal trail completed end to end all oh. All the way into Bakewell, all the way the other way to the top of the uh, the end of the trail, and all the way into Bakewell at the end. And then Lily was going to say. And after we finish this, we're going to show you some pictures to recap the ride. Good stuff. Total mileage is eighteen nine one, or nearly nineteen miles. That included the walk into Bakewell. Thank <laughs> you.